Hello and welcome to your Wednesday One Show with Jermaine Genius. And Alex Jones. Now, last night we asked you for your vaccine questions so we could put them to England's Deputy Chief Medical Officer, Professor Jonathan Van Tam. And, well, they have been flooding in. Oh, yes. We had a huge response. Obviously, a lot of concern and confusion out there. And you can see JVT, as we now call him, yeah. answers <laughs> later because we spoke to him just before his press conference with the Prime Minister. Yep, and also tonight we're joined by the EastEnders actors in the middle of a gripping love story. And the question is, though, will it all end in tears this week? Well, it is EastEnders. Ben Mitchell, <laughs> a.k.a. Max Bowden, and Callum Highway, a.k.a. Tony Clay, will reveal if Balam, as fans know them, are headed down the aisle or up a certain creek without a paddle. <laughs> you did uh, very well there. Uh, plus, Chris Packham is going to be helping us go all... ...comments in about anything on tonight's show to all the usual places. But let's kick off with Watchdog, Matt. That. Yesterday we asked for your questions for England's Deputy Chief Medical Officer, Professor Jonathan Van Tam. And, oh my goodness, we got tons, didn't we? We did indeed. So earlier we caught up with him so you could share your concerns. I think is what I want to know. Is there some form of like team talk? True. Definitely no pre-briefing going on here. This is mm. undiluted JVT. So let's get to the questions right then. So early ones to get their first jab and was told at the time that the second jab was needed three weeks later. Why would we both got in touch and they want to know, uh, do you know for certain or is it just the best guess? Their <laughs> advice. And obviously the other countries aren't following our lead. So are we certain that we're doing the right? You know, there's a lot of talk of, from, from everybody about how we can get back to... Professor Jonathan Van Tam, thank you so much for your time. We really enjoyed the week. Lots of you asked on my social media um, about pregnancy and whether you could have the jab if you're pregnant or if you're trying for a baby or going through IVF. So all of those types of answers we'll try on our social later in the week. Yes, yeah, so make sure you go and check that out. Now, uh, this past year has seen some of the biggest blockbusters face extinction with cinemas closing and film companies having to move huge titles like James Bond and the latest Jurassic Park. Ah, but dinosaur fans don't have to wait any longer for their next adventure because we're off to the Isle of Skye to meet the dad whose discoveries are truly of prehistoric proportions. Oh, that was brilliant and it looked beautiful there. Incredible, yeah. Do you know I've never seen Jurassic Park? What? So, did you say that, can you say that a bit louder, please? I didn't... I've never seen Jurassic Park. Don't talk. Have you seen Jurassic Park? Of course I've seen have Jurassic Park. Have you seen Park. The Notebook? I've seen the note, but yeah, you know I have. I just told you that. New respect for Jermaine. <laughs> well, movies may be off the big screen for now, but there's still lots to watch at home, including the latest big storyline from Albert Square. And of course, there's a Mitchell involved. Let's say hi to Max Bowden and Tony Clay. Hello, both evening. Thank you very you much doing? for joining hi, us. So, Tony, let's talk about Balam as the fans are calling you. Now that they've had quite a long road, haven't they, since end up together. Give us the backstory. So he was still, you know, he was still sort of trying to find himself. He was very much like, this is how I've got a baby. Ben's first attempt at a proposal didn't go too well, did it, earlier uh, this week. But tomorrow, he decided to have another go, which seems it didn't go any better, did it? <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> Ben impressed. just needs to get on with it. It's frustrating now to watch. But what sort of reaction then, Max, have you had to the storyline? They jumped straight on board the Ballam ship, if you like. Mm. Um, very cool Real life. I'm going to come to you, Tony, actually, <laughs> on this one. I'm going to put you on the spot as well. <laughs> oh, lovely. Well, I tell you what, it doesn't always oh. go to plan. We've just got some stories in here from viewers. He put the ring in my food Ooh. and I choked on it. That's a, that's a school Well, boy that's era. a bad start. That's... You'd have to say no, That'll wouldn't you? It must have, must have been it. some decent food. Sounds like he was going after, <laughs> she was going after it. Uh, Kaylee Pratt. You must be able to find some excuse, though, surely. Yeah, yeah. See, so. if you want any tips, just ask Jermaine. He wants to have that moment where you get on one knee and open the box. But And by the way, at least I didn't lose mine in a restaurant. We were... Yeah. Listen, we were That's better champagne. <laughs> anyway, it's a long, long story. Now then, when you joined the cast, let's get back to safer ground. Yeah. When you joined the cast, Tony, weren't you only contracted for um, a couple of months? So you had quite... I'm here for eight weeks. I'm just going to run and, and see what happens with a part. And Is it true, by the way, that they tricked you? into playing uh, well we really enjoying the storyline thank mm. you both it's really lovely to talk to you thanks a lot uh we've just got some messages i think well in fact there's nothing on my well done yeah great yeah so um, thanks to all our guests tomorrow michael ball is going to be in this seat keep a new company out yes well thank you Jabane. it's been a lovely week as always stay safe see you tomorrow night at seven bye, bye.